disc golf uh, from a couple buddies of mine that went to my church. They um, saw they were throwing some frisbees after church and kind of wondered what they were into. And uh, I asked them, and they told me it was a sport called disc golf and that um, it was played just like ball golf. And so I didn't really find much uh, much interest into it at the very beginning, but I went and played with them a few times, and it um, hit me pretty strong. And so I just kind of got addicted to it pretty fast, and then playing all the time, and then practicing, getting involved in local clubs and figuring out how many disc golfers there were actually around me and where the local clubs were in many of the courses. I um, started playing competitively around a year after I first started playing, I think in 2010. And started out that summer, played a couple local tournaments here around and um, my mom for my birthday bought me my first uh, tournament entry fee and PDGA membership and a pair of disc golfing shoes. So that was my uh, entrance into the sport at the CAC in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And from there on just kind of progressed and uh, slowly became better and better and figuring out different lines and how to approach the shot. And there's many local pros around here with good advice that are uh, always able to help out a new disc golfer. And, and a disc golfing family that supply you with disc and uh, lots of other things. And it was uh, nice to uh, meet all the local people and get involved with them and then progressively getting better and better and then played in um, 2011 at the PDJ Championships in Appling, Georgia at the uh, IDGC uh, Disc Golf Hall of Fame. It was a lot of fun and uh, I played pretty solid golf and ended up winning that and that was a really good uh, tournament. I met a lot of nice people and uh, had a really fun time playing. Uh, hey, I'm Charlie Coleman, PDJ number 44885 and uh, here's a little look in my bag. Starting off with uh, putters. I putt with uh, challengers, soft challengers. Uh, They're pretty stable and I like the soft plastic because it gets a good grip feel with the hands and uh, my hands tend to dry out some so I like a disc that's more grippier than your standard D or ESP plastics. A couple approach disc, uh, ESP zone, it's really overstable, it's kind of like a drone step a little bit slower so it's good for upshots and uh, dependable line. Uh, also got uh, Meteor, which is a good flippy disc for upshots and navigating through the woods. Couple uh, buzzes for I got a flippy buzz and a stable buzz, pretty much for straight shots in the woods or short shots under 300 feet. Keep a good uh, consistent line. For let's see, and uh, also got the. Focus, it's an upshot putter that I use mostly uh, on an Anheuser line so it'll float into the basket. Uh, mostly not that stable because this one's pretty beat in and it's uh, the Ace Race ESP so it's uh, a little different than the newer line Focus but it's a uh, good disc. Also got drivers, let's see. The drone, that's another mid-range I have. It's very overstable and it's uh, very consistent and whatever line you put it on, chances are it's just going to stay that way. So it's a good disc. And the Hornet, that's my last mid-range. And um, it's more for like a buzz. It's consistent, um, consistently hyzers right. It's uh, not that flippy, so it's more of a hold, uh, I guess hold a hyzer line. A little bit less than a drone, not as stable. So it's good on different shots. drivers on my slow drivers I have three surges which are 
I got a FLX, which is a little bit more stable. I got a flippy Nate Doll Surge ESP and a uh, kind of an older mold um, Z Surge, which is pretty stable. Also have a stalker, which is kind of a straighter buzz. It helps me on shots when I don't have to put my whole arm into it. That way I can release with more control. And I have a first run surge, which is good for uh, long turnover shots. It's pretty flippy and it's uh, a good feel, good feeling disc. Also have for roller and really big turnover shots uh, Avenger SS uh, ESP plastic. It's really really flippy and it's good for uh, rollers through the woods or tight Anheuser lines. have a flick. It's for thumbers and a really stable uh, forehand roller. You can release on a good line and it won't turn over and flip out on you. Um, my main driver is my nukes. I have a big variety uh, from this is pretty stable the flippiest and these two are about the same they flip up good distance drivers and this is pretty stable but a little understable is if you put a lot of torque on the disc so it'll fly pretty good for you and um, that's my bag Thanks guys. Uh, outside of disc golf, I work as a uh, networking engineer in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, contract now for a company up there and uh, playing when I can. It's hard with work and other things at home, but I try to make time for disc golf a couple times a week at least and uh, try to improve my game and try different shots and uh, different areas of what I can move towards or try to adapt a new shot or just hanging out with people that are better than me, it always seems to help. <laughs> I look forward to 2013 as far as uh, season and trying to get out and play. I try to average around 20 tournaments a year, uh, nothing full time and I, I'm not able to tour as of yet so just to kind of keep it local and some of the bigger ones when I can get a chance to try to uh, you know, improve more on some shots. I'm predominantly sidearm so trying to work consistently on my backhand and trying uh, to learn that and where I can apply it in PDGA tournaments and tournaments that I play in to get me a better shot. or always have that diversity in what I need as far as uh, the best shot to get to the basket. And so I guess just progress slowly and uh, just see where disc golf takes me.